Welcome to the Aguas Calientes Bicentenary Velodrome in Mexico for Alex Doubts' attempt to break one of the most prestigious records in cycling, the UCI Hour record. Uh, and there he is, pedaling away. Um, the temperature in the velodrome is around 26 degrees, and you can just see, I would imagine that's like a cooling suit or an ice suit, but he's there pedaling away. Definitely going to be a challenge, but for me, yeah, this feels a lot more precise. It's a lot more like... Um, like Formula One testing day. Indeed. Well, the last few little kisses there. That's Chanel, his partner, who's helped organise this event. The BBC, uh, via Alex's YouTube channel as well. We know that everybody's behind him. There's been a, a wonderful sense of uh, support. Alex Dowsett is off on his attempt to break the world hour record. It's very, very hard what Alex is doing and sitting literally on your limit for one hour. No matter what you're doing, you're going to want to adjust yourself some way or another. If it's your shoulders, if it's your bum, if it's your your ankles. 54.749, so he's just outside now, so slowed ever so slightly. But uh, he'll know exactly what's going on. Michael Hutchinson on the side, his coach, will give him that information that he needs. How fast can an individual from a standing start ride a bicycle round a velodrome um, in within an hour? And, and that's what the record is. But there's so many other variables at play. There's going to be some serious pain coursing through his body, and this is where we really need to find out what he can do now. Urged on by the handful of people here, a small support group of people dedicated to helping Alex break this record, sees it back. It's been six long years, but he's got to find something special now. 162 laps down, 11 seconds. He ships another half a second on that lap, 16.784. Well, I don't know. Well, this is... This is very, very, very difficult indeed. You can just start to sense and, and get to see the looks on his face. He is grimacing with the effort here. It's going to be difficult now. Not an impossible to beat the record set by Victor Campanarts, but this man is full of heart, he's full of belief, and he's full of love for his family. Urged on by the screamers of his team, they can hear Chanel above all the rest. We're coming in. This will be roughly the last lap now or less. The clock will stop in just a few seconds' time. Alex Dowsett, unfortunately will not break the world hour record, but he sets a distance of 54.555 kilometers. And that is no disgrace at all. But we get to see the countenance of this brave young man. But uh, this is no disgrace at all, but just look at him. Just, just about able, Adam, to walk as he picks up his daughter. Juliet. That's what's important about life. Sport is, is a magnificent thing, but your kids, well, they're the best. It's been a lot of work to get to here. And, uh, you know, it wouldn't have been possible without without Chanel, without Michael, Lawrence, Alan, Scott, um, my family, my mum, my dad, my sister. Um, and... Yeah, everyone, you know, everyone believed in me here and, and, and I believed in me and, and that's, you know, the success is, that is, that is as far as I can go and I'm, I'm proud of, I'm proud of that, I'm proud of myself for, the biggest failure today would have been to have never tried and that's, and that's the message to send out, you know, is I spent a childhood of being told what I couldn't do and, um, you know, we, my mum, my dad, Excuse me. Sure. We set about, we knew what we couldn't do, like football, rugby, boxing, so we set about finding what we could do. We turned a negative into an absolute positive, and I've been able to carve a massive career out of, you know, carve it from adversity. And that, that should be the message, is, you know, life can throw you a, a bad hand at times, and... It's, it's how you, it's what you make of it. It's, it's how you deal with it. And you know, the second part of my hemophilia journey, it was you know, it was me. But the first part was my family. The first part was my mum, my dad, like wanting the best possible life for me. And 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 also my sister recognizing that we had, you know, someone in the family that was facing some struggles and could and had to deal with it. You know, we all banded together with such a tight-knit unit because and haemophilia did that and that's yeah that's the message